Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use Treventi to create an interactive game that you can play with your kids. So let's go ahead and get started here and create a game. And what we're going to do here is just give it a quick name. Let's say it's a demo game. We can upload a cover image if we want to. So perhaps I'll pull in an image here. And we'll say, let's use that. Now let's go ahead and add a new question. So my first question over here is going to be, what kind of animal is this? And we'll say it's a buffalo, a cow, a dog, or a rabbit. Now, if we're not going to give points for the question, we'll select that it's a survey question. But in this case, we'll give points for this. We'll check the correct answer. We'll say it's a buffalo. Right. Now, one of the neat things here is that we can put in clues for our students. So uh, perhaps they need a little bit of help. And we'll say it's not a rabbit. And we can enter a fun little fact here at the end. After everyone's answered the question, they'll see this fun little fact. Uh, you might say that you know, Buffalo once roamed the West in herds, numbering in the millions. Now let's save the question. So if we wanted to add a new question, we can hit add new question here and repeat the process. We also have this option here to invite others to write questions to this game. So let's go ahead and click that button and we'll allow other users to add questions to the game. Now this could be a fun way to have students create review games to play or if you're working on a teaching team and you want to have some of your colleagues write questions, you can do it this way as well. Just give them that link and then they can start creating questions within the game with you. Right, so I'm going to uncheck that and say yes, I'm going to lock the game right now. Right. Now let's save the game. And let's see what it looks like when we run the game. Let's go ahead and run it. Now, now my students will join the game by going to triv.in and then entering the QR code. You can see if they're using mobile devices, they can simply scan the QR code. So let's go ahead and see how this looks to a student who's going to go to triv.in, enter the game code 3631. So here's the student view coming up. The student can enter his or her name enter the game ID and join it. And we can see here we're waiting for everyone to join. And let's take a look and see what it looks like on the teacher side of things. Let's go ahead and I can see that Max has joined. And let's start the game. <laughs> Maxes into things, he's now going to enter. And he sees that he was first, and he got an extra point for being first. Okay. He sees that fun fact, did you know? And now back here on the teacher side of things, I can see oh, 100%. Let's show the results. I can see that Max was the first to answer, and he got the complete score. So we can now go back to Treventi and we can start and the game is over. Now, unfortunately, the only way to save these results right now would be to take a screenshot or to save the entire web page or isn't a separate file that you can download. If you want to start a new game, let's go back to the home page and start a new game. You can also scroll through and take a look at some of the feature games that other teachers have created and you can use those in your Treventi account as well. So that's Treventi. 
It's a great new tool for creating fun review games to play in your classroom with your kids. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetech4teachers.com.